beat now. Absolutely. You, uh, you secure one win at home, you go for that second win at home, and uh, the so next one's a coin flip. All trash talk aside, the Heat got what they wanted. They're going home, and uh, we'll see uh, if they can you know, defend the home court like they should. All right, next up, let's see. Uh, Richard Sherman today won a little poll, I hear. Uh, got a little cover for a video game. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Put his smile on. He's Madden. going Madden. No. What do you think? Is that the jinx happening? The Seattle Seahawks cannot be happy about this. Uh, expecting to, uh, I believe they're still the favorites right now, uh, Vegas, to win again. Uh, that can't be good for them. I don't know the last person who's got on the cover and done well. Can't remember one. If the Madden. jinx is still strong. <laughs> the jinx is strong. Watch out, Richard Sherman. I know you're cocky. I know you like to talk smack. But uh, that's that's not something that you really want right now. Ask Dante Culpepper or Michael Vick or some of those other guys. All right? Um, what else happened in baseball right now? You know, Well, most of us still cannot watch the Dodger game. Luckily enough, they're on ESPN tonight. Uh, I would tell Dodger fans, do not, and I repeat, do not, Go to strikeout.co to illegally stream games. It is against the law. You will get in trouble. Do not go to strikeout.co. Illegal. Yeah. Don't do it. I won't. That's for all the bastards who are screwing us and not being able to watch games on TV and making people go out to the bars and drink when they shouldn't be on weeknights just to watch their home team. You know? Luckily enough, they were on ESPN tonight. We saw Dan Heron get a sixth win, and we saw Van Stash. I believe it's like the third time I've been able to see the Dodgers all year. So, yeah. you know, kind of crap. You know, can't even watch your home teams anymore, all because of political BS and money and greed. Uh, the world. We'll mention the World Cup is coming up here in Brazil. We got. We'll talk about. I know that we have a ton future. of soccer fans out there. They're super excited. No Here's Lando, the, but they're still a go. We'll see. Uh, I know the U.S. coach doesn't even think that we have a chance, which is always you know nice to hear. Yeah. Maybe he's rooting for Germany. <laughs> exactly right. All right. Um, last night we had a, a big, uh, big uh, win for Nevada, Miss USA. Miss USA, Nia Sanchez, black belt. Nia Sanchez, fourth degree black knockout belt. Knockout two ways in Taekwondo. Fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo. Uh, pretty impressive. Speaking of uh, kicking ass. Guys let's uh, let's get into a little UFC action here. Uh, one of your alumni, TJ Dillashaw, TJ became Dillashaw, the fighting Titan. Light cha lightweight champion of the world by beating Henan Baral, which was a big upset. I believe he was between 7 and 8, maybe even 9 to 1 at some places as an underdog. And, uh, I mean, TJ's a bad boy. And anyone who's ever saw TJ wrestle up from Cal State Fullerton on, the kid just doesn't stop. And he knows he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. And uh, hey, he's kind of got that chip on his shoulder that he's not going to let his size determine the win or loss. All I know is that he he came on the, in a show after talking about a re immediate rematch with Burrell and he said no. That if it was a one thing, if it was a lucky punch, I came in, I caught him with, with a shot and knocked him out. But no, he took him for five rounds, dominated each round, and inflicted punishment each round on Burrell, and then finished him in, with a TKO in the fifth round. So he said, let him go win some fights. I'm going to go fight other guys in line right now, which I thought was awesome. It was he great. Might, you know, pop off. And, and, and he said it right. You know, he said it right. He dominated the fight. You know, you don't deserve when you get your ass kicked for five rounds to and just get an immediate rematch. You know, everybody in that weight class wants Dillashaw. Everybody thinks they can beat him, and everyone thinks they can go toe to toe. But that's the glory of USC fighters. They want to fight. They don't want the cheap way to that belt. And they want to earn it. Speaking of a uh, five round of rematches, and uh, we got John Jones just uh, signed for a fight in September to rematch against Gustafsson. A lot of people think Gustafsson won that fight. A lot of people also say that uh, John Jones did not want that fight. The UFC forced it on him. Uh, so interesting to see, especially after Cormier just came out and dominated Dan Henderson. I know most of the fans out there want to see Cormier fight Jones. The sooner the better. Uh, and from what I'm hearing, Dana White basically forced John Jones to fight Gustafsson. What do you think about that? And uh, I think Dana White would do that. He knows what's going to sell and he knows how to pad his wallet and uh, 
He needs to get that fight in before he before John Jones loses to Cormier. Is that what's going on here? That's what he needs to do. Cormier is looking like he's a bad boy. He's the first guy I've seen that I say, "Watch out, John Jones. Your your reign is in danger." All right, I can't wait to see that fight. John Although, Jones will not make it easy. I can't. I mean, obviously the Gustafsson. That was a great fight, five round fight. So I can't wait for that that fight up and coming. Um, I think next up, though, we got uh, Demetrius Johnson, a.k.a. Mighty Mouse, fighting one of the, the new Russian uh, Russian fighters, Bogitnikov, uh, something like that. He's uh, he's about 5-1 to one favorite. I think Mighty Mouse will handle his business. I mean, I haven't seen too much of this other fighter, but I know they're pumping him up. Um, to me, Mighty Mouse is the man right now. I don't see anybody beating him for a while. Uh, the fight that really is uh, is interesting on the on the fight night card is going to be uh, Tyrone Woodley versus Rory McDonald, GSP's protege. Uh, what do you think about that one? Anybody coming from camp with GSP has got some talent. They will ha- be technical and they will not give up, and they will have cardio. UFC fighters, anybody up and coming, cardio, cardio, cardio. Learn from GSP. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I'm kind of surprised that uh, Vegas has Woodley, from what I've seen right now, at about a minus 130 to uh, McDonald, pretty close to even, maybe a, you know, a plus, you know, 105, 110 maybe. But uh, I personally have a feeling like I like Roy McDonald's overall skill set, uh, putting damage on Woodley. Woodley, to me, still, he's shown a lot of improvement lately. So it will be, uh, like I said, it's fight of the night in my book. I can't wait to see it. Although I do think somehow Roy McDonald might end up with a choke, a, some kind of a submission, and pull it out that way. Um, I don't want to see it go to the judges. I know Woodley he used to be, be you know, known as a lay and pray guy, just get on top, not be able to do much. But he has uh, improved uh, greatly in that area. So look forward to that fight. Also, that fight, Arlovsky is making Andre Arlovsky is making his uh, return to the octagon after a few years away against Brandon Schaub. Interesting to see that fight. I'm excited to see the Fang back in the ring, uh, the Octagon. I yeah. apologize. Uh, the man's a beast, but I don't know if he's got it for this next fight. You know what? I mean, we're going to have to bring back the uh, household lock of the week. As much as our losses have been doing well in the lower round cards, we're going to have to go with Schaub, knockout over Orlovsky. Orlovsky still got a glass chin in my book. All right, we're going to go with household lock of the week. Schaub over Orlovsky. Watch it. Bet the bet the college fund, bet the bet the rent on it. All right, you'll be you'll thank me for it later. <laughs> all right, and uh, I think that's about it for sports news right now. Come back soon with another edition. Hopefully, Adrian will be able to make it back. I'm hoping to be here and uh, let's mighty get these Mike jitters Sper- out. Mighty Mike Sperber, we uh, look forward to you getting out of the infirmary. We know you're sick right now. Wanted to make it tonight but couldn't. So. Uh, Sperber, we're looking for you. Get back out. Get healthy real quick, buddy. All right? And for uh, Adrian and myself, good night from Off the Top Sports Talk. (laughs) 